Basically, that Captain L. Uh, BC top one of the top players in BC. I don't know. I think he's third newest on their PR, PR just came out. Yeah. Is he third again? I think he's third again. Okay. He might be fourth. I know. I think he's top three. I yeah. think it's still Big D, Captain L, and Locus, Locus in some yeah. order. Not necessarily in that order. Big D's probably number one. He probably is. Knowing how that scene is. Uh, but yeah, really, really good Pikachu. I'd say probably the top talent of this event. Yeah, yeah. Him and uh, Exodia have traded a couple sets, but I think Captain L is positive. Mm -hmm. um, and has definitely had more national results. Yeah. Um, especially just in this most recent season, he's finally had an opportunity to travel. He yeah, almost beat uh, Salem at GTX. He almost beat him twice. <laughs> exactly. It was so frustrating to watch. Yeah. But, you know, that's well, watching, Bayonetta. Watching timeout Pikachu versus Bayonetta yeah. is going to be frustrating. I'm going to leave my Bayonetta salt behind for a second. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we got to be unbiased commentators. Yeah. But Bayonetta comes on stream. Right. Every character is valid. Every character is valid. Especially Fox, who doesn't destroy Samus. No, Fox is very honest. Yeah. All right. And All I'm right, looking forward to seeing this. Uh, Riley Noble's got a very uh, honest Fox. Yeah. So we'll see. We like to joke in AB because we've got a lot of foxes you know we've got we john do. dura we've got jimbo and we've got accents and we've got jet fuel but i don't really know what he does but yeah and there's a few there's also like a couple secondary foxes around yeah. like um exodia has a fox yeah which is pretty clean mm -hmm. but um, riley noble here is like the tech skill fox yeah he's you he's know? got a tech like all the foxes like are like serious tech skill guys but riley noble is like riley noble accents especially. is the tech skill king of uh -huh. foxes at least in alberta so i'm hoping we'll see some uh, some flashy play here see if anyone's tech skill is clean at 11 o'clock in the morning He's got lots of time to wake up, so we're getting started on FD here. It's a good stage. I kind of get it for yeah. this matchup. I think it's pretty even, honestly. Yeah. Um, Fox can kind of struggle landing against Pikachu, especially yeah. a character who's so fast and can, can move across the stage so quickly with quick attack cancels. Yeah. Uh, can be pretty frustrating for him. Yeah, at least Fox can, uh, can side B um, to the other side of the stage if Pikachu is being a little pushy in the corner. Yeah. Um, but some good damage going here. No extended strings yet. Nice good perfect shield. shields. Yeah. Trying to set up for a tech situation, but Accents is on it. Good reaction time on this guy. Yeah. Pikachu caught his... Oh, he got Oh, it. here we go. Oh, he missed the footstool. Yeah, he didn't get it. Barely. I was actually talking to John Dura yesterday about that, and apparently each character has different footstool timing, or the fast fall timing, so yep. you have to be... You have to fast fall on the right hit Under of forward air. a forward air. Mm -hmm. And for most characters, it's the third hit. Um, for lightweight fast fallers, it's the second hit. And for heavy floaties, it's the fourth hit. For like hit. two characters, it's yeah. the fourth hit. Yeah, it's Bowser and Samus. <laughs> Bowser and Samus, coincidentally, heavy the two floaties, characters yeah. I play. So. Well, there you go. Yeah. So it's the fourth hit. That's why John Dura doesn't like playing against me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, no back air there. So, pretty even so far. Um, I don't know much about this oh, Pikachu. Oh, that's not a good spot. Oh, he made it. Magnet hands on Fox, they're crazy. But he's in a bad spot here. Pikachu, infamous for his edge guarding. Yeah, so he got ledge. Okay, he tries to read the normal getup, but is a little late on the neutral air. Nice. Yeah, no confirm on that high percent. Yeah, way too much percent at this point. That back throw might have been dead for Fox. Yeah, I think that up tilt was pushed him back just enough. Mm -hmm. like, okay, good. No air dodge. So both his characters can have a little bit of a hard time killing if they don't get the confirms of the right percent. Yeah. So this will be interesting to see who can get a stray hit mm -hmm. that will end a stock here. I'm pretty positive that Fox is out of up throw thunder range as well. You're so probably right. At this percent, you can kind of just hold shields. Um, both characters here are going to have to rely on just a random straight hit yeah. if they want to get a kill. Yeah, and like looking for edge guards there, that's definitely a good a good game plan. Yeah. Super even so far. Yeah. Oh, I like the F smash attempt, but accents not biting. Yeah, so F smash safe on shield, but not on whiff like that. So, uh, oh, is he going to go for it? Yeah, so smart nair there by Pikachu. If he had air dodge, that was the end of his stock. Yep. Provided he didn't mess up the fair foot stool. Yeah. Good recovery there from accents, fast falling right to the ledge. Uh, barely dodging that. Yeah, hits. oh, that neutral air cross up angle. Yeah. Uh, I think he caught Accents trying to DI away there, so. Yeah, I think he expect Accents expected to go the other way. Uh huh. So that's the stock. I think he would have been dead anyways, but. Yeah. Back to even here. Oh, Not that too much extra credit. <sighs> I'm convinced he wanted a dash grab there. But. Yeah, he probably tried to do it as quickly as possible with the buffer dash grab. Yeah. Nice up. Oh. Nice, a little bit of damage here. Although, is that the uh, instant wall jump? Yeah. Pikachu is so slippery. Yeah. But Accents is doing a good job of chasing him down here. Yeah, uh, and he's not over committing um, on yeah. his ex strings. Yeah, he's got the Pikachu on the offensive. Fox not commonly Ooh. thought of as a defensive character, but Accents, you know, doing a good job of baiting the Pikachu in, just yeah. capitalizing on these up tilts. But Pikachu. as I say that, uh, he's actually got the lead now. So. Oh, man. 
It is very close. Nice downer. Potential edge. Oh, is no. that gonna confirm? Oh, he waited. Wow. Oh my goodness. I can't believe he connected that. That was such a like a a late hitbox of neutral air, yeah. and Pikachu was so high, mm -hmm. but he still hit the sweet spot of the up smash. So really good confirmed to find for accents there. Taking game one. No hesitation. That was a pretty close game though. They were that both at really eighty percent. He found that stock pretty early. Yeah. But like it was they were never like more than like twenty percent apart. Yeah. That was a super clutch, by the way. I feel like if he didn't connect that F smash, we would have seen another nickel and dime situation like for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Pikachu landed in the right spot, I probably could have got a hard punish too. Accents. Alright. So what's Pikachu's counter pick here? Smashville? Interesting. Probably what do you think he banned actually? Probably Lilat. That makes sense. He doesn't he doesn't want Pikachu to take advantage of the quick set cancels. Yeah. Because Pikachu can quick attack cancel with the Lilite tilts. Yeah, so which any is anywhere on the stage basically. Crazy broken, so I imagine he Good banned Lilite. Yeah, that makes sense. And Pikachu probably didn't want to pick Battlefield because while he has quick attack cancels, it's also a great stage for Fox. I noticed that uh, he just did a crouching perfect pivot there. It seems like is every he? Pikachu uses B Doo. Yeah, is uh yeah. is Pikachu on the B Doo too? I I think so. Those crouching perfect pivots are really hard to do if you don't use Beto. Maybe he's just um, maybe just practicing. Maybe. What's his name? A little bit of neutral here. These guys both got their perfect pivots coming out. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when that was like the tech that like the was too pivot. obscure and no one really implemented it? Yeah. It's like these are never gonna be useful. Oh, so is that, he looks like he went for a perfect pivot up tilt there and got that dash attack instead. A little bit of trade yeah, on the good multi. Trade. That's actually super good for Pikachu. Yeah, right? and he got that great ledge cancel quick attack follow up. Nice. He'll survive that. Oh, good that was almost attempt. sick. Yeah. Accents just just aware enough of the platform positioning there to not get caught off guard by that. Yeah. That's enough smash. That's yeah. One. Just uh, caught him with kind of a, a random dash attack there, and he got punished for it pretty hard. Yeah. First duel. Good DI from Pikachu. Yeah, he didn't. Accents was expecting the DI uh, in, and Pikachu DI'd out. Oh, I'm noticing a lot of these uh, F smashes here. I think Pikachu's getting a little bit antsy. Yeah, he's he's um, hoping Accents runs in forwards, but uh, he's yeah. not catching him there. No, Accents is playing very defensive right now. Wow. The single laser. <laughs> Just for good measure. Send a message. Yeah. Oh, low profile on the, the laser. Pancake. Oh, he's got the crawl too. I like that. That was smart. Pikachu not to just run at him because then Accents could have like blocked, mm -hmm. but he he crept up close and he's like, if you laser again, like you're too, it's it's unsafe from there. And that's enough smash, so that's stock. There it goes. Is that the high side B with no auto cancel there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you have to land at a very specific height if you want it to auto cancel. Yeah. Because so otherwise you're stuck in lag for a minute. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he was trying to land on the platform instead. But he missed it, gets the punish. Still a bit of a deficit here, though. So Pikachu has a lot of work to do if he wants to stay alive in the set. Accents has all the momentum right now. Yeah. He's got him at the ledge. That could be a. I expected an up tilt, but Accents playing it safe, just waiting for. Waiting for a ledge trap situation, but Pikachu manages to escape it. Yeah. Another random dash attack. Um, Pulse for the auto cancel downer there. Pikachu downer is so deceptive like that because you can, if you fastball even slightly, you'll get a landing hitbox. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, there's the auto cancel, so it's kind of a mix up. It's actually rather disjointed too, which makes it yeah. pretty, pretty safe. Too far for any confirm on that. Nice quick attack cancel. Yeah, it's like Access noticed that he was coming off, but he, he didn't get the hitbox out quick enough. That get up attack was just enough reach to not get. Yep. Oh, that's it. Catches Touch the neutral get up. Yeah, he, he did normal get up and then started jabbing, but uh, Accents challenged it with a better hitbox, and that'll be a, a solid 2-0 for Accents. Pikachu put up a good fight. Oh, that was um, a good set. Yeah, but but Accents found his kill confirms earlier and more reliably, mm -hmm. and didn't just throw out the moves. He, he when he up smashed, it was when it was gonna hit. Yeah. He never whiffed one, and I think that was the difference. Yeah, Pikachu. Um a lot of whiff smash attacks on his part. A lot of whiff dash attacks too. I think what he was trying to do was go for like a perfect pivot up tilt, maybe. It could be. Yeah, yeah. you can definitely get that 